The title of the course is Museums, Historical Memory uh, and the Politics of Egypt. The first two weeks were mainly taking students to field trips. We visited uh, seven uh, museums, eight museums, uh, and then uh, the, the last week of the term is a project, the, a project on the city of Cairo. City of Cairo as an open museum. I want to kind of learn more about the politics of museum curation and what goes into why people make art and tap into the culture of so many different countries. And it was a really good opportunity to see that. I've never considered museums as more than just a building with like historic stuff inside it. Um, this course has dug deep into that. Well, I'm an Africana Studies major at my college and basically what made me enroll in this course is that I really wanted to um, learn more about Egypt and Northern Africa and the culture that stems from there um, because I'm trying to get a more holistic view of African history as a whole and Egypt is one of the founders of African history. They've, they've either lived up to my expectations or exceeded them, every, every single one. Just getting to know students that aren't from Oberlin, it's kind of like looking into a different world and interacting with, with a completely different population. Well, what I mostly enjoyed about this trip was the fact that we got to go so many places. Um, we visited so many different museums, like the Islamic Museum of Art. We visited houses like this. Um, and I really enjoyed just learning about it while also being in Cairo while learning. So I learned not only so much about the history of Egypt and the history that is in the museums, but also just how Cairo operates as a city. Um, you know, because after each museum, we'd go get food somewhere in the middle of Cairo. We went to the night market. We went here, here, and here. Um, and and on top of learning so much about the history that I can take back to my school, I learned so much about the culture and the people. And also working with AUC students definitely gave me like more perspective about how Cairo and Egypt as a whole really is. Most of the courses that look at Egyptian history, they try to think of Egypt as being different. Like Islamic Cairo is a totally different country from um, Coptic Cairo or like Pharaonic Cairo. What I really like the most about this course is it shows us the links between the all Egypt throughout the eras and the periods that they have went through. It has been a very, very effective experience because, uh, because Oberlin students usually when I bring them here for winter term courses, they are only interacting with themselves and me. But for the first time, they are interacting with AUC students or they are, t they are doing everything with them. So the level of cultural exchange, language exchange, as well as you know, intellectual and theoretical exchange is, uh, is very high at the highest level and uh, very rewarding, very dynamic, very vivid and very rewarding. So Oberlin students have been very happy and very appreciative of this very unique opportunity.